Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to episode three of the collage image sharing application that we're trying to build using iOS 11 and some of the new drag and drop features available in Xcode 9 beta. And in today's video, I would like to show you guys how to kind of construct a UI image object from a UI view sort of frame and also how to share that image using something called a UI activity view controller. So all of this stuff is actually not that difficult to build. You just kind of have to uh, see what the code looks like first and you should be able to understand it. All right, so without further ado here, let me give you guys a quick demo as to what this image sharing feature kind of looks like here. And on my screen, we have the iPad Air 2 simulator on the right side here. And this is my UI view controller with a UI view uh, right here in the white. And I'm just gonna hit the share and this pop over that kind of comes up is the UI activity view controller. I'm just gonna hit the copy right here and it's gonna copy this entire frame and generate an image out of it so that I can share it via some kind of application such as iMessages. So down here, I am going to paste the image that I previously copied into the clipboard and this is the image that I can now send to either a friend or share uh, via Facebook. So this image is the exact image that I generated inside of my application, which is this right here. Uh, so pretty cool feature. And I hope a lot of you guys will find this useful uh, inside of your application. So let's see how we can do this inside of our application right here. And this project that I have loaded inside of Xcode 9 beta, I'm just going to run it to demonstrate what we have so far. And basically we have a application that allows us to drag images into it kind of like so. And I need to first implement uh, two features in order to kind of start sharing images inside of my app. Uh, the first feature is to implement some kind of navigation bar at the top of my view controller. So let's see what that looks like inside of our completed application. Well, it's just a simple nav bar with a button here and a share button on the top right. So first, let's take a look at the navigation controller that we need to implement here. And I'm going to do this inside of code instead of the storyboard, uh, just because I like coding a little bit more and I feel like not a lot of folks will show you how this works. So I'm gonna explain to you guys how to do this in app delegate by going into did finish launching with options. And I'm gonna say window equals new UI window like this. And I can just construct it with a empty constructor. And then if you want to make the window visible, you have to say window make key visible. Okay, so what does those two lines of code really do? Well, let me run the app and I'll show you, we'll get kind of a black screen here. Well, before we get the black screen, we actually get a crash and the crash kind of tells us that the view controller or the root view controller is not set properly. So root view controller. And you have to include an additional line, window dot root view controller equals some kind of controller. So you can say, view controller, or you can say UI navigation controller with this root view controller. And this root view controller is this class right here that we're going to use up here. So view controller, app delegate, view controller, construct it and run the application again. So with all of this now inside of app delegate, we actually have our view controller and we can drag images inside of this guy, like how we previously uh, built our app and everything works just the way it, as it did before. So what we need to change now is to actually make the background color white. So let me just go into view controller and inside of here, there's this method called view did load and everything gets executed first inside of this uh, method. So I'm going to say background color equals dot white and that'll change the background color to white. So let's just wait for the app to launch here and we get the nav bar at the top as well as the white background for our view controller. So pretty good stuff. And the question that I probably expect a lot of you guys to ask is, why was that view controller white before and why did it turn to black? Well, the thing is inside of uh, the storyboard here, we kind of started out with this as our view controller class. And this view controller, when you uh, put it in your storyboard, it defaults the background color to white. And that's why it was white previously. And when we use the app delegate to construct it, uh, you get a default color of black for the background color. So minor detail, let's go ahead and move on to modifying the nav bar to include a title here. 
So I'm just going to say navigation item dot title equals collage sharing like that. And I'm going to introduce a button on the right side so that we can allow the sharing functionality like that. So let's just see what that code looks like. Navigation item, right bar item equals some kind of UI bar button item. And let's just construct it with this title constructor here. So the reason why you have to set it to UI bar button item is because a uh, right bar button item, which is this guy right here, is of that same class. So let's use the title right here of share and the style will be dot something. Well, let's use dot plane, target itself and selector. We will have to use pound selector and let's just use handle share like so. And this function that we just typed in here is going to execute every time you hit that share button. So what that means is you have to include this function down here called handle share and perhaps print out a sharing image or some kind of text. All right, so this normally would work inside of a Swift 3 and Xcode 8, but because of some of the new changes introduced inside of the language, this guy right here needs to actually be fixed by including this objective C symbol in front of the handle share function like that. And once you do that, you can compile your code and also launch it to kind of see what the share button does now. So share, it says sharing image and everything is go, everything is okay. You can start executing code at line 56. Okay. So again, minor detail and you just have to watch out for some of these new changes uh, introduced with the latest Xcode. So let's go ahead and move on to how we can generate an image based on what we have inside of this entire view controllers view. And in other words, what I want to do is to just generate some kind of UI image object uh, that contains perhaps all four of these smaller image views. Okay. And the way of doing this is, you know, it might be a little bit confusing because the code uses some kind of image context to render out all of this stuff. And some of you guys that have not seen it before, uh, let's kind of go through it right now. All right. So the first thing I need to do is to kind of begin this thing called uh, an image context. So let's say UI graphics. Uh, let's see what that method is called. Begin image context. And the size will be the view controller's view frame size like so. And the next thing we need to do is to kind of render out this entire view inside of this context here. And let's just do that with either self.view or just view.layer dot render in this context. So what is this context? Well, let's just get it with a UI graphics get context, I believe. Let's see what this method is called. Get current context. And that renders out this views layer inside of this context here. So let's fix this little issue with the bang exclamation mark operator. And then finally, we can say let image equals uh, UI graphics graphics get image from current image context. So uh, quite a bit of a, a method name right there. And now what we can do is to just set a breakpoint on 62 line 62 right there and run our application to perhaps inspect what this image object is. So I'd be curious if I can drag an image in there, hit the share hits line 62 and this image right here, let me just hit the little eyeball is this guy right there. So let me just open in preview and drag it in. And that's what it looks like. So let's hit the continue and we can do the same thing with more images by dragging this guy and this guy up there and sure you get the image that represents whatever your view controllers view is like so. All right. So we have this image object now, this UI image object. And what we can do is to actually share it via something called a UI activity view controller. And that controller is pretty much what this pop-up is right here. So when I hit the share, this is the actual pop-up. So that pop-up will be created via something called a activity view controller equals UI activity view controller like that. Let's construct it with activity items and application activities will be nil. So all the documentation is available on the right side here. So make sure you read it if you need a further discussion as to what it does. And the important thing of this activity view controller is to give it some kind of activity items array. 
and this will contain the image object that we have. So let's just use uh, image, and I believe we will not be able to compile this, or perhaps to get rid of that warning, we can put a bang right there. I think we should be fine. And then now we need to actually present this activity controller. So present activity controller, animation is true. And then completion block is nil because I don't really care when it gets completed with the animation of presentation. All right, so if you try to run this, uh, you can't exactly do much. Uh, in fact, the application will crash when you try to share. So what I mean is it actually executes line 64. So line 64, hit the continue and the application will crash with this error right here. So let's inspect what this long error message is saying. Basically it says, uh, in its current trait environment, uh, basically we're inside of the iPad trait environment, uh, you must provide location information for this pop over through the view controller's pop over presentation controller. You must provide either a source view or source rect or a bar button item. So this last bit of a uh, message right here is the key to what we need to fix. So I'm gonna go back to view controller. And what I'm going to do is to say this right here, activity view controller dot pop over presentation controller dot bar button item equals uh, the navigation item dot right bar button item. So with that fixed in place, the activity view controller that allows you to share this image object will get placed right where that share button is right there. And that's the proper fix that we need. Not entirely sure what all of this is trying to tell me, but uh, all of this is currently in working condition. So you can drag this image here, drag this image there, and just drag whatever you want inside of your view controller. And you can start sharing these images via the share button right there. So you can hit copy. And then now this image, if I go back into message and just paste it inside of the application via the clipboard, you can send it and it'll appear inside of your uh, messages application chat log just like that. All right, so pretty easy stuff uh, once you kind of get this going right here. And this is the pretty much the key to this entire application. Uh, one thing that you should probably fix is to not use the bang operator and instead perhaps use optional binding via this right here, else return. This means that you don't have to use this guy and your application will, uh, will not crash if image is nil. So that's one thing that you need to do. And you'll notice that there is a bit of styling in my previous application where the border is black and there's also a slight shadow to some of these images here. Uh, let me just show you that one more time. There's a border and there's a shadow. So the way to do that is relatively simple. <clears throat> if you wanna do that, you can go inside of this view controller. I think it's drop interaction and down here every time we drop something inside of our application like that we can modify the image view that gets created and just simply give it a border via layer dot uh, border width equals four image view dot layer dot border color equals ui color dot black dot cg color and you can run this and the reason why we need cg color is because layer dot border color is indeed a CG color like so. So you drag your images in your app now, you get this nice black border. And then if you wanna add a shadow on it, it's pretty easy as well. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys already know how to do this, but let's just run through this really quick. Layer dot shadow. Uh, let's see, shadow color, shadow radius equals five perhaps, and image view dot layer dot shadow opacity, I think I can say 0 0.3, and I think those are the two properties I need in order to get a shadow on my object. So see that little shadow right there? Hopefully you guys can see it. And it makes the images pop just a little bit. And that's kind of what I like to see inside of my applications. Uh, design is actually a lot more important than a lot of you guys probably think and it really, really gives your application a nice polish that it otherwise will not have. So you can hit the share, uh, copy, 
and then you can just paste it anywhere or even perhaps write an email to some of your friends with this image. So let's just see that final image right there. Hit the paste, bring it in here. That's what it looks like. So pretty good stuff. Uh, one last thing is that uh, the images that we're sharing, uh, because this is the iPad Air 2 simulator, you don't actually get all the options that you see normally inside of your actual iDevice. For example, you'll see the uh, share via Facebook, share via Twitter, uh, share via email. You'll see all those options. And if you want to include text inside of the sharing, uh, you can also include strings inside of this activity items array. So for example, you can say uh, sharing this nice image and you can build and compile and this will still uh, work inside of your application. So finally, one last thing I do want to mention here is that when you begin your image context, you also want to make sure to actually end the context as well. So UI graphics and image context like so. All right, that's going to wrap it up for this series. And if you're interested in more about Swift development, you can check out the Instagram course using the link in the description below. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. Thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye guys.